So I thought it was about time I challenged them to do what I do. And it looks like everyone took coming for my job a little too seriously, including my boss's boss's boss. Hi, Martin. Hello, Amanda. <laughs> it's a special edition of the Purple Goat vlog today. I'm in Heathrow Airport, as you maybe can tell behind me, and I'm heading off for a big, 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 big keynote speech in San Marino, of all places. So I'm going to be flying to Bologna. Tomorrow morning, I've got my on-stage talk to like 200 tourism professionals, which is going to be really, really fun and really excited about that. But we've got the travel day today, so we're going to go check in, get through the airport, get up in the air, and uh, go and check out San Marino as well. Just uh, hanging out in the middle of San Marino. It's um, pretty old in a very historic area, which obviously has its challenges with access, but we managed to get around most of the place. It's just quite quite slopey and hilly, but um, yeah, really beautiful. Lots of lovely little shops, and it's quite quiet as it's November, but I can imagine it's pretty uh, pretty busy here in the middle of summer. But yeah, really amazing place. We're here in the top of San Marino in the old historic center, and I'm about to go and do my talk. Martin is one of the most prominent communicators on disability in the United Kingdom. He has been running the blog since almost 15, 20 years, and nobody was reporting acceptable prison experiences. He has interviewed and companies different magazines to promote successful tourism, and they have voted one of the most required show persons in the United Kingdom when it comes to uh, influencers and disability. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sarah today. I want to give a big, big thank you for that invitation. Thank you for setting the scene with those fellow speakers. And uh, yeah, just hoping to break the ice and get into a little bit around the, the needs that the same people have from Jordan. was going to San Marino. It was very cool. It was a great trip. It was so interesting, the history of the place. So it was like really amazing looking around. And then you yeah, obviously the, the World Tourism Organization looking at accessible travel and meeting all the change makers there. It was a really amazing trip. What would you say the key takeaways come like coming from the conference, if you're allowed to share with us? Were? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I guess the one thing that I took away was the kind of cross industry, the willingness to collaborate. So people have been talking about accessible travel and inclusion for a long while but there's often been silos so you've got private sector doing something public sector charity sector and it feels like now the sectors are clearer what to do they're more working together and more collaborative and i think that's really exciting that is really exciting and last question for you can you please give me your best vlog out there? oh best vlog out there this, this is where i'm not going to be taking your job i reckon <laughs> <laughs> so i would say hey everyone thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the vlog We've got loads of cool stuff coming up this year. Stay tuned and see you next time.